Hi everyone, so I'm back to share with you a little collection of um, bee things. <laughs> right, so it's a beehive collection and I've made an envelope flip flap tag book. I've made a stuffed envelope and I've just made a very plain notebook as well. I also made this drawstring bag. Um, first time I've ever done anything like this. I used some calico. Just going to give that a little snip there. Um, i done some stamping on there using some uh, stays on ink, um, which was this one. I wasn't sure if archival ink would actually, it does say permanent and waterproof, but I wasn't too sure. So I thought I'll stick with stays on to do that. And I stamped on the bees, uh, front and back. I will link um, the video that I watched um on how to make these drawstring bags and obviously you can do it using any form of fabric um, you know you don't have to use calico and you can just adjust it to the size that you need and that's what I done I didn't really follow her measurements but I followed her method um, of how she done hers so um, let's see if we can open this Ta -da. okay this was fun and do you know what it literally from cutting the fabric and ironing it and following the instructions um how she showed literally 10-15 minutes um so you could literally like, knock out a few of them once you get the hang of it and that was my first attempt so i hadn't you know i hadn't made a mistake well i think i did actually make a mistake because i think the um you know the pull bits are supposed to be on the outside and i've somehow got them in the inside so uh, but it still works you know look that still works whoops whoopsie okay so i have uh better get out what i'm gonna show you isn't it okay so obviously this lot will come in the bag um set that to one side so we've got the envelope flip flap tag book got a little stuffed envelope and just a little plain notebook like i said so we will start with this and let me just make sure i'm all in frame okay move that out the way this will be listed in my shop um, and the link for that will be below. Still got some other journals in uh, in my shop at the moment on reduced prices if you're interested. So I have got a uh, sort of five, six part tutorial on how to make one of these. Now I've just messed it all up. There we go. And it's uh, I'll link that below. It's the Blossom Rose um process video um and obviously part one shows you how to put the envelopes together and then you know how to make your pockets but you can do all that you know how you like to do it so i've used papers from artie mays and my porch prints i don't think i've used anything from anyone else but if i if it jogs my memory i will um as i'm going through i will mention so we've got some lace trim here this paper is from artie mays it's her bee journal kit um this is from my porch prints and obviously i've just cut all the papers to size to layer them up and then we have uh this is from my porch prints as well little postcard with the bee on there that kind of looks like a wasp but maybe it is i don't know um <clears throat> that is from my porch prints this is from artie mays is management of bees and then it opens out this way oh and in all the the tops of the envelopes you've got a tag they're all the same they're all coffee dyed they're all been stenciled they've all got a tab they're obviously just different sizes in each that didn't go in there at all different size tags in each pocket because they're all different sizes and that doesn't want to go in okay we'll deal with that in a minute okay <clears throat> don't know why that's not going in anyway we'll sort that in a minute um then here another pocket it's got some lace trim on here this is a little bee not sure if that's from artie mays or my porch prints but it's one of the two that's artie mays there uh this is also from artie mays and my porch prints my porch prints and then here we have another pocket some lace this was one of the journal cards that i just used the centerpiece it was a little bit bigger and i think that's from my porch prints just used the centerpiece of it because i just wanted it to sit on there then we have this my porch prints uh artie mays 
Artie Mays and that's Artie Mays's paper there as well so that goes in there then that way we've got a side tuck and again that's Artie Mays's paper well it's all the background papers are Artie Mays it's just the ephemera that might be Artie Mays or my porch prints and that's Artie Mays Artie Mays Oh, <laughs> mm. uh, another pocket there with some lace this is from my porch prints so is this and uh, I think that's my porch prints as well Artie Maze like I said all the tags are the same just different sizes here another this was a journal card and I only chopped off that piece because I wanted it to, to put on there some more lace trim another a uh, piece from my porch prints, Artie Maze, and the bee hiding behind there. Then this way, and we have a postcard. I think that's my porch prints, and so is that. Uh, the paper's Artie Maze. The bee is from my porch prints, and that's um, just a little bit you can cut out. Then here we've got, oh, I did actually use still from Artie Mays, some of her um, collage taster papers in the yellows because I thought obviously it would go well with the kit and it kind of does and another tag there another postcard and little journal card there and uh, did I show that? I can't remember. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, Artie paper. All the pockets have been stitched around as well. We've got a tag in there with a bee down there. Can't have roses without having a bee. Postcard there. Then here we have a corner tuck. This is from my porch prints. And the little bee there. Um, there's a honeycomb up there. Uh, not the honeycomb. The um, Is it a honeycomb? What do you call that? A honey thing. Am I saying the right thing? Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> Another tag. That's RT Maze. So is that. Mm, this is my porch prints. And I think that's it. I'll have to sort that tag out in a minute. It's because I can't get my head right over to see. Right. Then it's just a little stuffed envelope. Easy peasy. Um, that's from my porch prints. The, all the back, backing papers are RT Maze. Inside there we have a uh, postcard with a bee on it. That's my porch prints. This is Artie Maze. My porch prints. Artie Maze. I think this is my porch prints as well. Little bee there. Inside there we have a tag. Oh, thought that wasn't going to go in. <laughs> then here I've just made, this is a double pocket. So um, we've got the pocket there and it's opened at the back as well. So you could tuck something else in there. Um, I've just used some background paper from Artie Mays. And I think these journal cards are Artie Mays as well. And I just layered them up. Um, and that's that. And then this is just a little plain notebook just filled with coffee dyed papers. It measures haven't wrote any measurements down whatsoever um it's about seven and three quarters by four it has 20 pages front and back and like i said all the papers have just been coffee dyed and you've got lined paper square paper and then just normal plain paper which has been coffee dyed so you could turn that into a little journal you could take notes in it and here we've just got a double like a double layered journal um, journal cards there they're from Artie Mays and that paper is from Artie Mays as well so <clears throat> that is the little collection that I made and I was well chuffed with myself doing the bag not so much stamping because you know I know how to stamp but I don't actually you do th a lot of things with my sewing machine that that are fabric <laughs> it's, it's mainly paper I sew so this was an achievement I think uh, like two years ago when we went into uh, when we'd you know went into lockdowns because of COVID I made face masks that was about again the only thing I actually done with fabric so yeah that was fun I'll 
put the link to the video that I watched. It's so easy. I watched a few others. Didn't think it was... They were easy enough to do, but they, I, I need to see. I, I, I like to see how things are. Explaining something isn't the same to me. I need to physically see it being made to actually... You know, I could watch something in silent. As long as they were very clear with their instructions, I could probably go off and, and, and try it and make it. Um, but yeah, this was a fun. And I'm going to make some more bags because I have got tons and tons of fabric lovely floral fabric and things like that so I'm going to start making bags to put like my journals in so <clears throat> um, like I said this will be listed in my shop um, I do have other journals on there for sale if you buy more than one the shipping is um, combined so you're not getting charged double for an item um, so yeah uh, check out the other stuff uh, any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye